Today it's all about automation on a brother machine tool right behind me. And you can't quite see it because it's such a small footprint and most importantly it's facing the automation system. Um, so believe me or not, there is a brother machine behind me. But Nick, first of all, where are we and what do you guys make here at Evotech Performance? So we're here in uh, Alford, Lincolnshire. Um, we make motorcycle parts. So we make aftermarket motorcycle parts like tail tidies, crash protection, radiator guards and yeah, anything else we can uh, actually m manufacture. Yeah, those really gorgeous components. Looking around, all the, the all the components go from from really small, intricate components to big, still quite intricate components. And what what are the requirements you need from customers um, on these kinds of parts? Yeah, so we um, the the parts that we make um, require us to make quite intricate uh, five-axis parts. So hence why we've actually bought this machine. Um, so yeah, we're trying to develop the parts, always trying to move forward, strive forward, um, make it more complex. Also try to reduce the amount of stock that we're using. So we've bought five axis for that reason to actually, so we can actually tilt the parts and reduce the amount of stock. So it reduces cycle time. Um, and that's exactly why we bought this machine. Absolutely, and you need good, good service finishes because it's quite compact, cosmetic parts as well. And also tolerances because they're going to fit on existing chassis and existing motorbikes. Yeah, absolutely. So the, um, the the brother machine and centers are you know really accurate machines. Um, they work very well for our parts, and we do make all the parts here, so we can actually assemble all the parts together and then you know provide them so they fit on the the motorcycles. And that's exactly what we do here on our facility. Yeah, brilliant. And you've got the this is the the newest in your huge range of brother machines. This is the U five hundred XD one. First of all, why have you got such a wide range of brother machinery? So yeah, many years ago we started out with another brand of machining centers. Um, we, we then looked and decided that we needed to make it more efficient. So we actually bought a pallet changer. That was our first step into Brother. Um, a very efficient machine, a three second um, pallet change machine. Um, since then we've been buying and buying and buying more Brother machining centers. Uh, we've also bought um, some of their automation. So we bought their Fedio systems that feed the machines. Very good system, but they can only supply the, the Opt10s into the machine. And then we've been doing the op 20s on a manual machine we bought this machine and cell to actually do the op 10s and op 20s in that machine and cell all in one so we can get completed components out yeah absolutely so a really good foundation uh, foundation machine with a brother with a five axis table um, but you're feeding it with uh, an automation system here which is a big kind of pallet system and you've got some example components as well yeah so i mean this is you know one of the more smaller components we want actually planning to make on this machine um, but what the machine has done, and with this pallet changing machine, um, we've actually been able to uh, make our own fixture in. So we've made tombstone fixture in, and then we can do the op 10s and op 20s of the left and right components, and then we can make all of the components on this machine. Um, so this component then comes out complete from the cycle. Absolutely. And what's the benefit of being able to do, I guess, big parts you've got on the left hand side here and the smaller parts you can fit multiple ones on, on a team. So what's the benefits from that? Yeah, so the, the machine has given us the ability to um, do large components. So we've got this large component that we would have done previously on an OP10 automated and then OP20 manual. Now we're actually machining it on this machine, OP10 and OP20, both in the machine, so it's automating it. And then, like you've just seen a minute ago, it actually gives us the ability to do large components like this and the small components as well with this pallet changer. Absolutely, and the result is loads of completely different kinds of components off, but totally automated. And what kind of uh, runtime are you expecting from when you, I guess you fill the whole cabinet here? Yeah, so I mean, the. The machine, because of it now having 28 tools, it means that we can put a whole range of different components in this um, automation cell. So we're currently running about 20 different components in here, um, and it's around about a 60 hour runtime. But we do batches from like batches of 50 right up to 250. So just because we're running that today, it doesn't mean we're going to be running that tomorrow. You know, we, we're constantly changing. So as we've, we've completed one batch of one certain part, um, we'll put another component in and it might be a completely different setup. Yeah, absolutely. But that setup can, can change from one pallet to the next. You could have uh, 60 pallets with all 60 different components in as well. Absolutely, yes. It, it's so versatile, the system, and the machine just brings that versatility. Yeah, brilliant. Um, but when you're running a machine like this, one single spindle running 60 hours, it's really important that it doesn't break down over the 60 hours. So uh, how important is service and service response time to you as a company? Yeah, I mean, thankfully the machines, you know, we, we've got trust in the Brother van um, and, you know, White House 
um, have served as well over the years. And we know that if there are any problems, that they'll be out next day, pretty much. If not next day, the day after, and they'll come and um, sort the machine out. Um, but you know, touch wood, the machine's been good, and we've got no problems so far. How do you know that? How do you know you can trust White House service and support? And what's it been like in, in historically? So yeah, historically, I mean, we you know we have had problems where it's generally down to um, operator error. We've had to lean on the um, the service of White House machine tools, and they've come. You know, we've broken spindles at four o'clock one day, and they've been with us nine o'clock with a spindle the next day, and had us going by lunchtime. So we know that we can trust White House as a brand. So that's versatile automation from White House Machine Tools making some fantastic bike parts here in Lincolnshire.